We're here at Rana Plaza. Two years ago, in April 2013, a building housing several garment factories here collapsed, killing more than a thousand people. Shuni the engineer the puri kya korse? Puri kya korar pare hoy building thak bola. The next four days the bitter hoy building shesh hoy zeko. Ta hona mare team saro dark dese tar paro ami uti nahi ga. Sober bade no dark se tar paro uti nahi ga. Ta hona mago line ship silo maxu madam. She amare nisi thega niya gese. None of the factories inside the plaza had unions, so it was hard for workers to fight for better conditions or refuse to work in a factory so dangerous their lives were at risk. ফেরারাশ <laughs> ওই রক্তটা আমার সারা পিঠ আমার মুখ দিয়ে নাক দিয়ে এক সাইড বাই সাইড এই ভিজে গেছে সিন্স দ্য রানা প্লাজা ডিজাস্টার ইন 2013 when more than 1000 garment workers died in a building collapse and the fire at Tasreen Fashions which claimed the lives of more than 100 garment workers we've seen significant improvements to health and safety conditions in Bangladesh's factories but we've also documented continuing and serious violations of labor rights, including workers who are forced to work overtime, sometimes without being paid for it, workers who are subject to verbal and even physical harassment, often because they can't meet production quotas, and factories that deny workers sick leave or maternity leave, even holidays. <laughs> Workers try to form unions in order to advocate for better working conditions. But too often, the management and factory owners will go to almost any lengths, it seems, to stop workers from forming unions. We've had cases where people have been fired and then blacklisted from other factories. There have even been cases of physical attacks uh, where thugs are sent to attack uh, workers who try to unionize and also activists who are helping them to do so. It is the management, the failure of the management, which ultimately led to the question of establishment of the trade unions. And now, establishment of the trade unions in the government cities, in the factories, is a reality which cannot be negated, which cannot be ignored. Majority of workers are not aware about their rights, but when they come to know their law and rights, they are eager to organize union and form union. Because if you don't have union, you cannot negotiate with your respective factory management. Since Rana Plaza, many international brands have signed a new agreement to inspect and oversee fire and safety conditions in 1,611 factories. But the brands can still do more to ensure that abuses aren't taking place in the businesses that supply them. They should be transparent about where their clothes are coming from, which factories are supplying them. And they should also be ensuring that these factories, whether they're contractors or subcontractors, are actually properly inspected and that violations are fixed. Some brands, they paid us last year $4.2. This time they're asking for $3.6, uh, despite of so many complaint issues, so many things. So they, also, they have to also change their mind because uh, if they want to get so many things, they have to pay for it. It's really up to the Bangladeshi government, factory managers and owners, and the international brands that source so many products in this country 
to work together to ensure the conditions are improved and that workers are able to exercise their rights as they're entitled under Bangladeshi and international law.